some bees or some comb that was old uh, from last year. Um, and for, uh, <coughs> I, I probably scraped it off or something, uh, so they have it built back out. That's why that looks uneven. That's uh, something I do. Let's look in here. Let's see how winter treated them. Yeah, now these bees are doing good. So is this, this is the first a, time you opened them? Uh, no, I, I was in here earlier. So you can see some uh, pollen there. You can see capped over honey here. There's the difference. So a moment ago we were looking at brood. And now we're looking at cap over honey. How do you know the difference? Right, so the different colors. So you can see this this capped over here is a lighter color. You can see uh, a little bit of an air pocket underneath there. Look, if I were to smash that cell down right there, uh, then it would look, well, it's probably crystallized. Yeah, see, so now it looks more like a watery. It looks watery. So when you look at uh, capped over honey, you'll see that little air space underneath the cap uh, and above the honey. So. Um, so the and cells are darker because they got a right, more, more of a animal. brown. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they've they've mixed the cap, the capping's material, which is mostly wax, with some other other things in the hive to cover up the larva with. So it needs to be porous so it can breathe. So when they put a cap on honey, though, it's solid wax. They want it airtight and moisture tight uh, inside the the honey. Do cell. they always keep the honey zones separate from the brooding zones? Uh, yes, they, they try. Them? They try to, and they they want to keep honey in proximity to where the brood is, so they've got their resources for the for the baby bees uh, right nearby. They don't have to go too far to, to pick it up. So, but generally they keep the brood chamber in the middle of the frame, and then you'll have a ring of pollen, and then the honey honey up above that. So, well, you'll see an example of this. Let's look at this one. You'll probably see how it works. Okay, so this is a good uh, frame for you to look on and, and identify eggs. The foundation is black wax, and so the white egg that's on the bottom of these cells right here is very visible. So you may have to just take, yeah, handle that, and, and you'll have to adjust the light over your shoulder to shine down in the bottom of the cell so you can see it. But it's, uh, oh, yeah. it's white, and it's tiny. got a black, yeah, very tiny. Most people, when they look for eggs, are looking for something a little bit larger than than there they are, and they're looking for an egg egg shape, a chicken egg shape. It's long, it's long and slender. It's not like a chicken egg. Yeah.